Congress has taken some very important steps in recent months to improve the outlook for entrepreneurs and small businesses throughout America. I'm pleased today to be joined by Senator Debbie Stabna from Michigan, Mr. Terry Gardner from the National Policy of Small Business Majority, and Frank Knapp, the President and Co-Founder of the South Carolina Small Business Chamber. Um, Senator Landry, Senator Stepano, thank you very much for your leadership in a host of issues that are going to help small businesses, and I appreciate that. Uh, and Terry, I did want to mention that my, I noticed that all the clicking stopped when you stood up here. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I am Frank Knapp. I'm the uh, President and CEO of the South Carolina Small Business Chamber of Commerce. Uh, for years, we have been working in South Carolina to try to figure out how to make health insurance more affordable for small businesses. Uh, and, and that is why we have been so supportive of national health care reform and trying to work with members of Congress and the small business majority to help fashion that so that we get affordability in health insurance for small businesses at the same time that we don't increase cost to small businesses and, and make sure they don't have a mandate to offer any type of health care if, uh, if they don't want to. Uh, so we were just ecstatic uh, about what the senators have been able to do and what the Congress did and what the President signed. Uh, this really is going to be a great asset to small businesses in our state and across this country. Uh, do not listen to all the naysayers, all the people out there who are saying this is going to be a crisis for small businesses, we are going to crumble under the financial pressure. Uh, that is simply not true. Uh, in South Carolina right now, we have less than 40 percent of our small businesses with less than 50 employees that can even afford health insurance for their people. Uh, under this bill, 95 percent of our businesses have 50 or fewer employees, no downside for them. 90% of our businesses have less than 25, uh, 25 employees. Again, they are now going to be eligible for a tax credit, whether they are already offering health insurance or they're not. And so what we're trying to do is we're traveling around the state uh, to educate the small businesses about what the positive things are and for them to allay their fears about all the fear mongering that's going on. And unfortunately in South Carolina, as you probably know, uh, we have a lot of political officials who are sworn to killing health care reform. Uh, and we've had to push back against that. If you go to uh, our website, you'll see uh, within the last 10 days I've had a, a major op-ed pushing back on our Attorney General Henry McMaster, who is suing the, uh, the nation about this, and also against the NFIB, uh, who, who also swear that they're going to kill off health insurance. So that's where we are. This is real life stuff. Uh, and in South Carolina, it's going to be a big asset, but we've got to address all the misinformation and correct it. Uh, and, and we'll get there. Uh, but uh, we'll get there from having opportunities like, like today uh, to do that. And hopefully, with your assistance. You have to be the ones to, at least in the media, to set the record straight of if somebody says general tax increase, you're simply going to have to ask them where is it in the bill. It does not exist. So we, we hope we need your help too in, in doing this. So thank you very much. I appreciate your opportunity.